guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison and I create a lot of content about personal finance and just lifestyle content in general. So if you enjoy that, give me a follow. I would appreciate it. Today's video is going to be a paycheck breakdown video. I feel like it's helpful to see other people budget and like figure out how other people come up with their budget. Starting off with my income, I get paid bi-weekly, so every other Friday. I'm hourly so it does fluctuate like just by a little bit depending on like if I get any overtime which usually I get maybe like an hour or so of overtime but it's honestly not even worth it. But anyway, my paycheck for this pay period was $2,352 and I had a whopping $18 left in my checking account from the last two weeks so yikes. I also made $64 from selling clothes on Poshmark, yay, and $111 from TikTok, which is $2,545. Start going through the things that I definitely need to pay or save for. So the very first thing I always do is save for my rent so because I get paid twice a month month so the first paycheck I'll save $400 and then my second paycheck I'll save $450 because my rent is $850. If I save those two in January then February 1st I have the money for the rent. And the next thing that I save for I'm currently going back to school for my master's degree so I've been paying for each semester as I go. My summer bill was due May 1st I believe. The last one was due December 1st. So between like December 1st when I paid my last one and May 1st, I counted how many paychecks that I'm going to have and divided the tuition by that many paychecks, which I, off the top of my head, I don't know what that is. But what it came to was that I need to save $300 each paycheck in order to have the amount of money that I need to pay my tuition so that I don't have to take any loans. Um, which has been super helpful and also like making my life a lot easier. I mean, the only thing is like that is a lot of money that I'm just not, I like don't get to use for other things. But I knew it was only short term and then, you know, like the end of April, I won't have to worry about that anymore and I won't have any loans on it. So just a few more months of doing that and saving that and then after that, that will go towards savings or paying off my debt, which will be amazing. I will also, one of my big goals this year is to get a house or at least save enough to have a down payment for a house like early next year. Um, I can only save about $100 every paycheck towards my house fund. I put both of those into a high savings account because as it's waiting there for me to pay for my tuition or like as it's sitting there to save for my house, it's gaining interest. Uh, I mean, even the little bit counts, I think I usually get like between $20 and $30 of interest every month in that account because of what I have in there. I also have my emergency fund in there. So even that little bit helps. The next thing we're doing is putting money into a joint savings account, me and my fiance, because we are getting married in June. And weddings are very expensive. So again, what we did for this was way the beginning of the planning. We came up with an idea for a budget that was in like September of 2022 at this point. And then booked a venue, so we knew the date, and then we figured out, okay, we have this many months, and this many paychecks, again, to save X amount of money that we wanna spend on our wedding. So each paycheck, I'll put in this much, you put in that much, and then we'll be at our goal. Which has been working so far, like really well, the only thing is weddings are crazy expensive and we definitely went over our budget. We also took into consideration like my parents are going to help us out a little bit with like the catering and stuff. So I think we're on the right track with being okay. Um, it's just a lot. It is hard to save that much for a wedding when they're just insane right now. But definitely been helping us at least. Like we'll have, if not most of it, saved and paid for like very very close so that's been working for us if you guys are if anyone out there is planning a wedding that is what i suggest and again we have that also in a high savings account so as it's sitting there it's gaining a little bit of interest for us um, the next thing that we both do is put money into a separate account that we have for groceries as well 
This is actually something that we started doing recently and it has been amazing. I'm really glad that we did that. It's tough, I feel like nowadays, like you hear so many people talk about like when you get married, just like combine all your finances. I feel like that's really, really hard. I feel like for our generation, that's like hard because we have so many, I have like so many accounts. We, all, we just have our own bills to pay for, like have your own system by the time you're getting married at this point. Like for us, cause we've grown up so much like having online baking and stuff. So I don't know, it, it's tough, but there's also things that I feel like should be combined. It helped us so much because it's it's no longer like, oh, I'll get groceries this time. Like, okay, I'll get groceries next time or like whatever. We just have the ca one card um, that we can use for groceries or, you know, anything that we would need for around the house. Like paper towels, like dish soap, all those kinds of things. Like we can just use that on the, the combined card and not have to worry about it. So that has been working great for us. We each put $100 in there. That's been more than enough for us. We've been really trying to work on our grocery budget as well. If you do follow me on TikTok, you know that we shop at Aldi now, which has been life-changing. We spend, I'd say on average, like $100 a week on groceries now and have like a little bit of extra because there are those weeks that you need like the big things and you always seem to need them all at once. So even if we know we have a certain amount on there and we want to go out to dinner, like we can use that as well. Like that could be for food, whatever. So next, I paid $400 towards my car. I just got this car a few months ago. I do love the car and I, I needed a new car. I travel pretty far for work. I also live somewhere that can snow a lot. We've been super lucky this winter, but we can have like brutal winters where I live and I needed a car that was going to be able to like get me through the snow so i don't regret the car i just wish that the loan wasn't so much it's and it's not even like it's unbearable i knew like i didn't want a high car payment my car payment is actually only 332 dollars i just personally want to pay it off a lot faster so i've been putting a little bit extra towards it and this month i put 400 dollars Depending on like how well I do budgeting to get paid next paycheck, I might even put like an extra 50 or $100 towards it because that is my only debt that has an interest rate right now. We wanna try and pay that off as quickly as I can. Next, what I did earlier, like kind of the middle of last year was go through all of my monthly expenses, like all my subscriptions and everything like that. And I also canceled any subscriptions or downgraded some subscriptions that like weren't worth the extra money. So every pay period I look, okay, these are the subscriptions that are going to come out of my account this, these two weeks. So how much is that going to be? And for these two weeks, it's $38. And I also have two cats who are super annoying, but I do have to feed them and get them litter. So use Amazon subscribe and save and I think it's been helpful I don't know I don't know if it's really saving me a ton of money but it's at least convenient where every two to three weeks I get food and litter delivered so I will take that convenience or trying to find the best deal because I'm sure it wouldn't be that much less for pets um it will be $48 for these two hungry cats. Then also going on a honeymoon right after our wedding. So that's another expense that is coming up quick. Every paycheck I try to put a little bit towards that too because the total on that is still a little bit high. We're working on it. So I think it's gonna be okay. Based on my budget right now, I put $100 towards our honeymoon. I'm also on a goal to pay off my student loans by the end of the year. Hoping somehow, I'm hoping that I can get a little bit more money from social media. Like I'm really trying to focus on um, posting a lot more and utilizing the creativity fund on TikTok, branching out and doing other forms of content, as well as hopefully start getting some brand deals. <laughs> Almost towards the end here. The last thing is 
I'm also really trying to pay off my credit cards as soon as like as quickly as I can. And my credit card has a 0% interest rate until the end of the year, so I'm not like really worried about paying it off as soon as I can. Like I feel like people judge me when I say that I'm like putting money towards like saving a house when I have debt, but it's it's all relative and because I'm not getting charged any interest on this credit card, like as long as I don't use it and keep paying it off, I don't see it as like a bad thing, but some people do. So anyway, I put $275 towards my credit card. That brings my total to $2,085. That leaves me with $460. I like to leave that number like pretty generous just in case like something does come up. Like today I went to the eye doctor and had a copay, which was only $10, but I at least have like a buffer for anything like that comes up or anything. As I said, I drive a lot for work, so I do use a lot of gas. So I also budget $160 for gas. That leaves me with more like $300 for anything that comes up. Hopefully by the end of the two weeks, whatever I have left over, I can use towards my credit card or my car or things like that. It always seems like it, I don't ever have anything left over, so we're gonna try our best to actually have money left over this time. That is how I budget my paycheck. Also, not a financial expert, so do with that what you will. I'm just doing what works for me and my family at this time, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video.